Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and having a great day. If you are new here, hello and welcome to the aesthetics of things. I recently renovated a three bed Victorian property in London and I am now at the point of buying the furniture and trying to turn this house into a home. So I actually have two new furniture pieces that I want to share with you guys in this video. But the theme of this video is actually really about storage solutions because this house doesn't have a lot of storage space so I have a loft which is super handy to store stuff in but actually eventually I do intend to convert the loft into a livable space. I also have an understair cupboard but the loft and understair cupboard aren't always the easiest to access so I've been looking for storage solutions for everyday items that you really want to access a lot more easily. So the two solutions I have in this video hopefully will offer some inspo or insight for anybody that's thinking about finding similar storage solutions. One key criteria for me when I'm buying furniture is always furniture that is not going to make the house feel overly crowded or dense. So the two pieces that I have found I think really do hit the mark in that regard. So I'm going to show that with you as mentioned in this video. So before I show you the furniture pieces, I thought it would be a good idea to show you the area where the furniture pieces are actually going to go and show you what that area looks like at different stages of my renovation journey. So the area basically is above the stairs. When I bought the property, that area had an existing area covered that was covered in 1970s wood padding, so not really my personal style, and therefore that cupboard was knocked out. And post renovation, I started thinking more strongly about what storage solutions I was going to basically put into that space. And the original plan that I was leaning towards was having a beautiful short cabinet with a marble top and then a massive bouquet of flowers sitting on top. Whilst that option would look super beautiful and super aesthetic, I knew that it wouldn't really offer me enough storage space. And as a result of that, I started leaning much more towards towards mustard lockers. I have had the lockers on my Pinterest board for about 18 months to two years and only made the decision to buy them about two weeks ago. So it took me absolutely ages to take the plunge and to buy them. This is not sponsored. I'm just sharing my experience with you guys in case you are thinking of bringing similar storage solutions into your home. So what I like about mustard is that they offer lockers in lots of different sizes. So they have tall ones, short ones, wide ones, thin ones. So lots of options depending on how much storage space you actually have. I also love the fact that they have lots of different colors of lockers. So you can inject personality and visual interest into your home. I decided to go for wide lockers purely because I wanted the lockers to blend into my interiors. So that's really the main reason as to why I didn't go for color, but I love all of the lovely colors and options that they have on their website. I like the fact that the website is really easy to navigate. They also have videos that show you how to basically assemble the lockers, so super, super handy. And I basically assembled mine myself, and I can tell you that it is actually very, very straightforward to assemble and to put together. I bought two lockers, and I think it took me about an hour and a half to assemble them both. So again, handy that they've got guides and videos to help you, and it doesn't actually take long because if I can do it, anyone can do it, basically. The other thing to say before I get into showing you the lockers is that whilst the aesthetics of the lockers is very different to the option that I would have gone for in that space, they do work well with my interiors because I do have quite a few industrial accents in my interiors, such as my black doors, but also my industrial pendant lights as well. So when I actually look at the um, aesthetics of my home holistically, the lockers absolutely work really well as well. And I think once I've got the home properly styled and properly furnished, they will absolutely, I think, fit in beautifully with all of my interiors. So that is it for this part of the video, guys. I'm gonna get straight into showing you what the lockers actually look like in situ. So the lockers basically come in two large boxes, which you can see here. So what I'm showing you is basically the aftermath once I had put the lockers together. So 
in case you are thinking of buying the same lockers, uh, you are going to need help to get them upstairs because again, the boxes are quite large. And now I need to basically figure out um, when I can have this rubbish collected. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to fit it in my recycling bin. Um, I may have to actually pay um, to have this taken off site. I have a few other bits of rubbish as well, so I might just add it to that to make it worth the cost. But yes, quite a lot of rubbish left behind, as you can see. Um, so looking forward to getting rid of this ASAP. So guys, these are the assembled lockers, which you can see here. And I actually went for two lockers and the name of the lockers that I went for are called the Skinny because they are designed to fit into really tight spaces and the space above my stairs measures about 83 centimeters in width and one Skinny locker is about 35 centimeters in width. So I was able to fit two of them into the space quite comfortably, which is great. I should also mention that there is another version of the lockers called the Twinny and the Twinny is basically one locker that's the same size as two skinnies put together so if you're looking for just one uh, locker or one piece of furniture uh, then you could go for the twinny the reason why i went for two separate skinnies is because i wanted to have the option to basically move one locker into another location if i wanted to uh, so that's basically why i went for uh, two skinnies instead of one 20. So the lockers do come on elevated legs, which I love. I think furniture on legs really, for me, promotes that open, airy feeling that I'm always keen to maintain. Um, so it's great that these lockers do have that. They are a decent height. I think they measure about 180 centimeters. I will pop the exact height um, onto the screen. But the reason why I'm mentioning the height is because I still do have quite a lot of space above the lockers that I'm either going to use to add decorative pieces or even maybe uh, beautiful storage boxes. I do want to make sure that anything that I do add above the lockers is super aesthetic because I don't really like clutter and things looking out of place. So yeah, stay tuned to see how I basically end up dressing the area above the lockers. So you may have noticed that I don't actually have handles on the lockers yet. And the reason for that is because I really wanted to uh, find a way to make the lockers feel a little bit more elevated, a little bit more custom. And handles were one of the ways that I felt I could basically achieve that. So stay tuned um, later on in this video to see exactly what I'm going to do. Um, with the handles and of course they come with keys uh, which you can see here so super handy if you want to keep certain items away from children or anybody that you're you know renting a house with so I think the fact that they have keys is super super smart um, of course so in terms of the price the uh, price for a single skinny is about 230 pounds so actually super accessible when it comes to furniture and of course I bought two so it came to roughly uh, just under 500 pounds which again I think is you know super reasonable for uh, storage furniture as mentioned previously you know they do have a very industrial look which I think complements some of my um, uh, industrial accents such as my black doors and my light fittings um, so I think it is whilst you know very very modern and industrial I think really does again uh, work well with my interiors so I basically opened one of the lockers so you can get insight into what they look like on the inside they do come with hanging rails so if you wanted to use the locker as an additional wardrobe you absolutely could you would just basically need to remove the shells that the lockers come with so the lockers come with one two three four shelves that you can obviously um, place um, uh, uh, using different uh, heights depending on what you want to store but i think it's super cool again that it comes with um, four shelves and a hanging rail um, so you get a little bit of versatility in terms of um, how you basically want to use this storage space so you get a decent amount of depth to be fair um, it comes with these really strange keyhole um, holes which i'm not sure uh, have any real purpose i could be wrong 
Um, but yeah, I think for a really slim, um, you know, storage solution, you do get, I think, a decent amount of storage space. So I'm gonna have so much fun, guys, organizing the house and really making sure that everything has its place because I'm not quite there yet in terms of every single item having its place and I'm somebody who really doesn't do well with clutter and things not in order. So I'm gonna be super happy once I get a little bit more order and organization um, uh, kind of, I suppose, coming uh, into, into the space. So these are the original handles that it comes with, which hopefully you can see here. And yeah, basically, as I mentioned, I'm not gonna be using these and I'm gonna be going with a bespoke solution, which I will cover a little bit later. So these are the door handles that I am going to be installing onto the lockers and I ordered them from Dowsing and Reynolds. Of course, they are brass and I think they are super, super beautiful. I initially was actually going to go for the classic pull star handles, similar to the ones that I have in my kitchen. And the reason why I decided not to go for pull handles and go for uh, knobs instead is basically because I couldn't find a pull handle size that would align well with where the holes on the lockers are basically situated. That's clearly gonna be really, really important, right? So because I couldn't really find a pull handle that aligned with where the holes are, I decided to try going for, again, these knobs here. And they are super, super beautiful with this kind of diamond cut detailing um, on the outside of it. And I quite like the fact that it's very, um, it's very pale uh, brass as opposed to really orange brass. If you can hear lots of noise in the background, I do apologize because my neighbors, I think, are actually having some work done. But uh, coming back to the handles, I really like the kind of combination of um, satin um, elements at the top of the handles and then this really beautiful textured detailing. I think it's called diamond cut, I'm not too sure. Um, but this kind of textured detailing on the sides of the handle. So I really hope this is gonna work out, guys, because this is basically, basically my version of DIY. I don't really do DIY because I'm not very talented at it and I have very little patience. So this is basically the extent of my DIY abilities, which is basically just installing handles. So yeah, I hope they do fit. I hope it works out. So I'm going to basically install them and then um, bring you back to see what the installed handles actually look like. So wish me luck guys, wish me luck. So guys, we have encountered a bit of a problem which I'm going to try to explain. So of course I've just tried to install the handle onto the locker door, but when I was trying to do exactly that, I realized that the screw that comes with the handle is really long. And it's long for the right reasons because this type of handle normally is fixed to either a kitchen cabinet or uh, you know a drawer and the you know width of those types of um, cabinets is a lot thicker which means that when you're screwing in the screw it obviously has to kind of pass through uh, i would say maybe a centimeter thick um, piece of wood and because my locker is literally probably like two millimeters <laughs> two millimeters thick it basically means that the screw isn't able to really have anything to hold on to um, and basically the handle just hangs off the locker so not something that I thought would be an issue but this is why I don't do DIY <laughs> but what I am going to do is try to find out if my plan B will work and the plan B is basically going to be me trying to use the original screw that came with the mustard locker that tiny screw that you can see there with this Dowsing and Reynolds handle and see if we can basically get these two to work together because the original screw you can see is really, really uh, short, again, for the right reasons because the thickness of the locker is really, really uh, small or, or minimal. And that's why that shorter screw makes so much more sense than this longer screw. So I'm gonna basically try to um, see if my plan B works by screwing in the handle with the original screw from Mustard. And yeah, uh, let's see how that goes. So guys, I am very pleased to report that pairing the screws from Mustard and the handles from Dowsing and Reynolds actually ended up working. So I'm gonna show you what the installed handles actually look like, but thought I would quickly show you what the original handles that came with the lockers look like 
and there is absolutely nothing wrong with them but I wanted again to elevate the lockers a little bit hence why I went for handles that were a little bit more special so yeah I'm going to show you what they look like uh, right now so guys these are the Dowsing and Reynolds handles that have now been installed onto the lockers and again I'm so pleased that it actually ends up working out so I basically installed two in each locker so that's obviously the first one and then you have the second one and if I move back a little bit hopefully you can see a front view of what the handles look like and then I'll try and go to the side as well so you can see what the handles also look like from this angle so um, yeah I'm really pleased with it and again for me I just wanted something that felt a little bit different this is my definition and my version of DIYing and that you love my content but one of the ways that you can help my channel to grow is to like comment and subscribe if you wish so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video take care bye